we all kind of handle all of the coaches uh, all the way across the board. We all kind of work together. Coach Belichick obviously, um, you know, helps us a lot too. And, and uh, you know, myself and Joe and Nick Kaylee and Vinny and Billy, we all, it's, it's a big divide and conquer at, at some points where we have to just, we have a lot of work to get done through the course of the night and, and everybody really understands what we're trying to do. All right, let's deep dive the Patriots offense once again. We've got Tommy Curran and Greg Bedard st still here with me. Tom, that was a lot of names. You got Nick, you got Joe, you got Matt, you got Vinny, you got Billy, you got the – it's just – it seems like a lot. Is it fair to say that there are too many cooks in the offensive kitchen? I actually asked Matt Patricia that directly, and his answer to that was, I understand why you're asking the question. In the end, we will collaborate. Everyone will have a chance to present their particular specialty to the room. But if there's ever any contention, Bill will be the one who breaks a tie. And here's what's interesting. The Patriots have done collaborative stuff over the years in many different ways. They've done it on defense the last few years. I think Bill and Romeo Cornell probably collaborated. I think same thing with Flores. Bill does give those guys rope and room to do things. I think what's so unconventional about the offense and the reason we have a spirited discussion at the top of the show about when the offense doesn't look good is this is so unconventional. This is not guys who came up in the offensive system together over a period of time. They are, in Matt Patricia's case, Greg, trying to convince us as to why he's got pertinence to the offense. And he's pointing out, yeah, I was a defensive guy. I can help in that way. But, yeah, there are a lot of cooks in the kitchen. And at some point, the collaboration has to boil down to one guy, right? Yeah, without question, Tom. And I, I think that, look, out of all the issues with offense and the offensive coaching, like their alignment and their duties is sort of like the last thing on my list, if that makes any sense. So, you know, look, when it comes to when the Patriots game plan, every coach has a different component of the game plan that they work on. Red zone, for, uh, first plays, you know, what have you, short yardage. And then it's up to the offensive coordinator to put it all together on the play sheet. I assume that's going to be Matt Patricia. Joe Judge is going to coach the quarterback. Say what you will about his qualifications for that. Um, but my main question is, who who's calling the plays? And then if that's Matt Patricia, who's dealing with the offensive line, uh, you know, adjustments as the game goes on? I don't think there are too many. I don't think there are too many voices. That's not my worry. It's the actual game day execution. Everything else from it's, Monday to Saturday, I think they'll be fine. Sunday, how's that going to work? I think they're going to have to work on that in the preseason and that, figure it out. Trenny, and just to interject really quickly, Billy Yates will be the offensive line coach, is, is what I'm sure Greg is, is gathering as well. But to me, all these guys who are spread fairly thin, who are fairly young in the league, who are not Iman Fears or Dante Skarnecki, and don't have Ernie Adams to proofread their work, those being old lions of this organization, they have to make sure that their wide receivers have all the intel that they absolutely need to effectively do their jobs mm -hmm. on Sunday. And when Joe Judge was wide receivers coach in 2019, splitting his time between that and special teams, there were weeks where the wide receivers didn't feel as if they were well, well enough prepared. And there were other folks who didn't feel as if they were well enough prepared. I'm not saying Troy Brown's going to have them in the same boat, but that's the Monday through Saturday stuff that has to be good. If you're going to coach him up, you better do a great job, or Matt's going to be standing there with, as Felger says, his Schmenzer in his hand saying, I don't think we can run this play. Well, Greg, and to your point, you mentioned that, you know, okay, fine. There's not too many cooks in the kitchen because you want collaboration. You want a lot of different voices so you do the best thing. But the issue is the assignment of those, right, especially on Sunday. Do you want Matt Patricia? Like, of Matt Patricia, Joe Judge, Bill Belichick, or, I mean, I don't know, even, like, Mac Jones. Like, who do you want out there being the primary play caller? Who should be running the offense? Who's the best person to run the offense? If it was up to me, it yes. would be Bill Belichick. And Matt Patricia would be in charge of the offensive line because I think he can do a good job there if his attention is there. It's can't, I, I don't think it's Joe Judge. I don't think he's ready for that. To me, it's Matt Patricia sets up the game plan for Bill Belichick. They talk through it during the week. He hands it over to Bill on Sunday, and Bill's calling the place. How about you, Tom? I would still actually deviate and say I, I'll, I would defer to Bill Belichick's decision-making on the division of responsibilities and who he thinks is best suited for it. But I will remind folks out there that you know, really since 2013, when Josh McDaniels came back and took over the offense, decisions Bill has been involved in related to the offense, and I'm thinking specifically personnel and drafting and a succession plan for Tom Brady, 
and the notion that Jimmy Garoppolo was a terrific quarterback and Cam Newton and Jarrett Stidham and Brian Hoyer, <laughs> they haven't been great. So Bill is an offensive coach in lieu of Josh McDaniels. I don't know. I just don't know.